Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to look at Apostle Guillermo from Miami, Florida. So let's jump right in. And special thanks to CP for sharing this. If you aren't familiar with this man, this is his popular YouTube channel. He's the pastor at King Jesus Global in Miami, Florida, and has over 200 churches under him. He's got his own supernatural ministry school where you can identify and grow in your role. You know, like being an apostle. We can see some of the speakers here, and it includes people like Cindy Jacobs and Rodney Howard Brown. And if you want a ticket to this Supernatural Ministry School, it'll cost you $355 for a general admission or $700 for that special VIP pass. There's some common red flags we can look for with these people. Number one is calling yourself an apostle. Number two is the false teachers you associate with. Number three is having these supernatural schools, especially when you claim to activate prophecy in someone and teach them how to do the same thing. Number four is charging such a large amount of money for these events. And a fifth flag is being on the Sid Roth Show. And yes, he's done that too, where you can buy one of his products. Or you can go to his online store where he has tons of stuff to buy. And yes, that includes anointing oil. Nothing wrong with anointing oil, but it's clearly a gimmick when they use made-up names like King's Garment Anointing Oil. So, before we review this one-minute video here, we'll listen to Justin Peters reveal some shocking information in this video. Interesting story. Le voy a decir una historia bien interesante. About a year and a half ago, I was preaching at a Spanish church in Miami. Hace como un año y medio estaba predicando en una iglesia hispana en Miami. Very doctrinally sound church, Miami Bible Church. So if you're in Miami, check out Miami Bible Church. Una iglesia muy sólida que se llama Miami Bible Church y es una iglesia muy bíblica. But there was a lady who attended my seminar, and she used to be a member of Guillermo Maldonado's church. Y había una señora en esta congregación de visita que había sido o era miembro de una de las iglesias de la iglesia de Guillermo Maldonado en Miami. Maldonado's church, El Rey Jesús, claims uh, they they claim that gold dust appears in their church services. La iglesia de Guillermo Maldonado también afirma que polvo de oro cae del cielo. This lady used to be very high up in the church. Esta señora tenía una posición muy alta en esta iglesia. But then she got genuinely saved, converted, and she left that church. Pero Dios hizo una obra realmente de conversión en esta señora y ella salió de esta congregación. And she came up to me after one of my uh, one of the services in our, at Miami Bible. She came up to me and. She, Go ahead. Y ella se acercó después de, de, de la predicación eh, en la iglesia donde estaba en Miami y me comentó una serie de cosas. And she said, Justin, you know about the gold dust in El Rey Jesús. Y me dijo, Justin, tú sabes acerca lo del polvo de oro en el Rey Jesús. And I said, yes, I do. Y yo le dije, sí, yo sé. She said, when I was in that church, it was my job to go up into the ventilation system. Cuando yo estaba en esta congregación, era mi trabajo subir al sistema de ventilación with a canister of gold glitter. Con un canasto lleno de escarcha de oro. And it was my job and a friend of hers, her and her friend, it was, she said it was our job to dump that gold dust into the ventilation system and then it would blow out on the congregation. Y nuestro trabajo específicamente hmm. era depositar ese polvo de oro en los ventiladores para que fuera esparcido por toda la iglesia. It's a complete fraud. Es un fraude total. I talked with her, or email exchange with her just two days ago. Hace dos días compartí correos electrónicos con ella. And she's still at Miami Bible and, and growing in the Lord. Y esta persona está perseverando ahora en la iglesia so, de Miami Bible Church y está perseverando en la fe. So this is absolute fraud. Guillermo Maldonado is a fraud. Así que esto es totalmente un fraude. Personajes como Guillermo Maldonado son un fraude total. There's another miracle he's known for. It's you can see this on YouTube, but he has a a a, a, a pitcher of water. Eh, hay otro supuesto milagro que tú puedes encontrar en YouTube, unos videos donde él tiene una copa de agua. Or, at least, and, he, and he pours another liquid uh, into the water. Y él le echa otro líquido eh, a la botella de agua. 
and all of a sudden the whole thing turns red. Y todo el vaso se, se, se transforma en, en, en color rojo. And he says he portrays this as a miracle. It's Jesus turning the water into wine. Y él dice esto es un milagro. Esto es Dios convirtiendo el agua en vino. That's an, that's another trick. Eso es otro truco. It's some chemical. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I've researched this. It's a it's some chemical that you turn it. It's a chemical reaction and it turns red. Es un químico que se le echa una sustancia de agua y hace que se convierta y cambie de color. But it's not wine. Pero no es vino. It's a trick. Es un truco. He's intention. Guillermo Maldonado is intentionally misleading his people. Guillermo Maldonado está intencionalmente desviando a la gente que está en su congregación. So if all this is true, then it's just a few more signs to mark and avoid. And let's be honest, if he's doing the gold dust thing, I do believe this story. But today we'll look at the video, Whatever You Imagine by Faith is Possible, and then look at what the Bible says. The Bible says, walk by faith, not by sight. Sight has to do with the five senses. See, touch, smell, taste. And then if we replace sight, what we replace it with, we replace it with the imagination. If you want to imagine whatever you imagine by faith, I'm listen what I'm saying. Whatever is imaginable by faith is possible. In other words, can you imagine yourself debt free? Can you imagine yourself healed? Can you imagine yourself? And I'm not talking about positive thinking. I'm talking about the truth, the Bible. This is clearly a version of the word of faith doctrine or name it and claim it. This is kind of a twisting of Mark 11:24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. But instead of asking in prayer, he's saying just to imagine it. He mentioned nothing about God's will and of course focuses on debt and healing. But if someone doesn't get healed or become debt free, these are the people that put the blame on them and their lack of faith. Shameful indeed. Anyhow, Thank you to all of you that do find these clips because together we can work and help others come out from under these false teachers. We'll leave it here for today, but leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.